Listen, I love you, brothers. I love you. We know. Okay, good. One, one second, brothers. All right, man. So what our purpose is, right, is that there has been a certain injustice that is taking place on this earth. Agreed. Okay. Lots of injustice. Okay, so now if, if there's a if there's a heavenly presence mm -hmm. that you and I believe in, yeah. right, uh -huh. then that heavenly presence is about justice, correct? Uh, I believe they're to some degree. Yes, he is about justice. Wait. Yeah, his justice. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. So if, if he's about justice, yeah, right, and there's a certain wrong uh -huh. that, that has taken place on this yeah. earth, there will be justice, right? Yeah, there will. Okay, be. so now, but listen, before justice yeah, yeah. comes, which is Isaiah 66, Pick it up, Doc. right? Before justice comes, these descendants of these people, mm -hmm. right? have to get their minds and their spirit in one accord with their creator. This is our purpose. Okay. You see? So what we're doing is we're taking these young men who have been formally in games, formally uh, uh, robbers, formally, formally doing That's wicked awesome. deeds, and we bring them here for a just cause. What causes this is to wait the minds of the descendants of these people. Because if I ask you a direct question, if God is a God of all love, how can these injustices take place? With the people. And what is the end result for the descendants of these people? We need to know what is, what justice is for these people. It'll be eternal justice, I know that for sure. Well, look, there has to be something that takes place before that, right? Hey, let me get a scripture, man, to bring it up. It's in the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. Bring it out. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation here that we, that we believe. Right, let me get uh, John chapter 5, right? Uh, the light is coming to the world. Let me see somebody else give me uh, John chapter 1, right? So now, Christ, you believe in Christ? Absolutely. All right, so this is what Christ said, right? Let me uh, John chapter 5, the light of the world. And here was what? And here was what? Now, what is light, sir? Light. Light. And here was light. Read the next verse. And the life was the light. And the life was what? The light. What is light? Eliminating the darkness. Eliminating darkness. Okay, so metaphorically or spiritually, what does that mean? Exposing things that are that are Exposing things, right? Look here. Exposing things that were in the darkness. Right? Back up, back up, back up. 
So exposing things that are in the darkness. Read. This is what Christ came to do. And this is, so I don't understand when people watch and they come up here and they have questions, but yet and still they claim that we're hating because we're simply pointing out the wrongs that was done. I'm not saying you, I'm saying this is what we are confronting with. The children of Israel are going to come back and our money coming back too. Come on. Unto the name of the, of the Lord thy God. That's right. Come on. And to the Holy One of Israel. Right. So I'm, when we read this scripture, I'm going to ask you, who is this? That's all I'm going to ask. Read. Because he has glorified thee. Come on. And the sons of strangers. And the what? And the sons of strangers. No, sons of friends. And the sons of strangers. Of strangers. No, the same people. And, and the sons of strangers. strangers. So this is somebody who's a stranger, meaning they're not of the lineage of the children of Israel. Right. Do you agree? Uh, I'm just saying, according to that, do you agree? According, according to Isaiah in 600 years before Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, come on. Now build up. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We just established that this was the kingdom of heaven. That's right. So if we, yep. this is Isaiah yep. prophesying. You agree Pro Isaiah was a prophet? Prophesying to a people 600 years before Christ. What, was he a prophet? Know, we did not know of Christ. Was he a prophet? we're walking through oppression uh, and, and difficulty. As, okay, as so let's go. To, somebody give me revelation. We needed a word of hope from the Lord. Revelation. Who was the 144,000? Who are the 144,000? Let's see. Isaiah, I mean, Revelation chapter 7. Right? Started the fourth verse. We're going to ask that question directly. Now, you can't say that for Revelation. 
All right, let's go. This is Revelation, chapter 7, verse 4. Come on. And I heard the number of them. And I heard the number of them. Matter of fact, read the first verse. Number of who? You will find out. <laughs> Come on. One. One. Restart the first verse. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Come on. Holding the four winds of the earth. Angels holding now, the four on. winds of the earth. Yes, are the corners of the earth. According to the Bible there. So is, is this imagery so that we can understand? It's not no, this is, is this symbolism that we can understand? Absolutely, we understand it. God explaining some, some heavenly principles with some earthly understanding. Listen, allow, allow the scripture to speak. Absolutely. All right, without your interpolation, okay? I'm not doing that, I'm just reading. Read. That, that the wind should not blow on the earth, Lord, nor nor the sea. According to the according to the Bible, wind represents destruction. No, wait, wait, that's an interpretation. Okay. Um, no, no. According to the scripture. Okay, I'm not gonna say a word. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna say a word. Read. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna say a word. Read. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice. Right? to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Hold up, now I just said that the winds represent destruction and the Bible just told you the exact same thing. That's not a That's right. right. <laughs> okay, That's, no, no it's not. That's the Bible is speaking. Okay, go ahead. Saying hurt, not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. So now stop, who are the servants of the Most High God? Anybody who's in Christ, y'all hear that, right? The right. man said, anybody who's in Christ, let's see if the Bible agrees with him. Read. And I heard the number of them uh -huh. which were sealed. Uh -huh. And there were sealed in hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. No, the children of everybody. The, the children, children of Israel. Israel. The children of the Chinese man. The, the children, children of Israel. Israel. The children of the white man. The, the children, children of Israel. Israel. The children of the Arab. The, the children, children of Israel. Of the most high God. You want me to read the hundred uh, the twelve thousand from each tribe? Yeah. Or is he referring to Right. Let me get Isaiah, let me get uh, Psalm 147, 19 and 20. And we're gonna see. Well it's going to go on to say. This is what I want to leave you with. That if the, the, um, the importance, because these brothers here are descendants of people in their identity have been stolen. These people here, identity have not been stolen. These people here, identity have not been stolen. Right. These brothers here are descendants of those who have lost their culture. They have lost their identity. Right. They have lost their religion. They have lost their faith. They don't know what their purpose is. Right. Why are we neglecting these people and their historical struggles and just to say that this thing is all about inclusion when the Bible says in the book of Revelation that it's of the children of Israel, not only in the kingdom of heaven, because the other nations, we want you to be there. Don't we want you to be there? Yeah, yeah. 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 We need y'all to be there. We need y'all to be there. Don't you, you, want me there. you don't? Why not, brother? <laughs> well, I don't. I, I, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking, and I'm talking. Well, well, I'm trying to make you know recompense for you, for him. Okay. So now, all I'm saying is this: that Isaiah chapter 14, three. That's all right. That's all right. Come on, come on. <laughs> we, we, we want, we want the Gentiles to be here. Now, I didn't write this book. Right. Listen, listen. I didn't write it. Don't get mad at me, please. I'm just someone who's simply reading, okay? And I need you to, I, I, I'm not going to say a word. Right. I'm not, no one said anything. Interpret it. Don't say nothing. God. All right, go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. No, he's going to have mercy on everybody. For the Lord will have mercy on, on Jacob. Jacob. Yes. And will yet choose Israel. Okay, I, 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 I apologize. 
that will yet to Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall flee to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. Oh! For service and handmaid. And they shall take them captive. Stop, stop, stop. No one say nothing. But you said, you said earlier, ain't gonna be no slavery in the kingdom. That what you said. Now they gonna bring it back to me. For me? No, sir, I have nothing. Well, that's great for you. Did you go to the Welling Wall? Did you know that Welling Wall and that? Did you know that hole? Did you know? Did you know? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? We go around. Oh yeah. So you you look Hispanic to me. You're not Hispanic. You're not at all. Oh okay. We we'll, we we'll give you a pound then. We'll just give you a pound. And we're gonna do this to you. One yes, y'all. One yes, y'all. We gonna give a war. They ain't never seen. Homie, are you gonna lay that enemy?